Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the SSH keys to perform Git operations. In July 2020, GitHub announced that it will, in the near future, require the use of token-based authentication for all authenticated Git operations. Since the 13th of August 2021, GitHub no longer accepts account passwords when authenticating Git operations on github.com. So the workflows that were mainly affected include uh, the command line git access, desktop applications using git, also note that github desktop was not affected by this change, any apps or services that access git repositories on github.com directly using your password will also be affected. The use of tokens has a number of benefits. One of them is that tokens are unique. Therefore, um, they can be generated by use or by device. Tokens are also revocable, which means they can be individually revoked at any time without the need to update any unaffected credentials. They are also limited, which means their scope can be narrowed to only access the necessary whatever is necessary for that use case. Tokens are also random, which means they cannot be subjected to dictionary or brute force attacks, unlike simple passwords that you need to remember or enter regularly as you log in or perform your Git operations. So I have an existing repository, Git repository, for a project we covered in the previous video. Check out the link on the description section. I will make some minor changes so that we can try and push them to the remote git repository. So I'll just add a function to my code here. Um, let me just copy what I have here so that I make it easier. And let's say this function returns the same data as the existing one. So I'll just do some commits to my local repository. Then I'll also try to push the same to the remote repository. I'll just run this command here. Let's see what we get. So it's asking me for a username. Now I'll do this. I'll input my password. So if you notice, we are getting this error that says that password authentication is no longer supported and you are required to use the personal token instead. Instead, So then we'll go ahead and set up our token, our SSH keys, so that we can be validated using the token. This is the error we get when we try to perform any Git operations using the password username combination. So we are forced to use the personal access token by GitHub. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll load up our terminal and we'll try to create some SSH keys. So just run some commands here. So first you need to check whether you have existing keys before you start generating any new ones. From there you can decide whether to reuse the existing ones or generate a fresh one. So first thing to list uh, to check if we have any existing keys need to run this command. So as you can see here I don't have any existing any existing keys. Uh, normally normally you'll get uh, the names the names are the default names are as follows. You can see that we have the ID RSA underscore public dot public sorry we have ID underscore ECD SA dot pub 
and id ed25519.pub these are usually the default the default names so if you don't have any existing keys we can go ahead and generate new keys so the command that we need to run to generate new keys type in this command this will be the name of your key we use the default name and then you input your github linked email then you enter it make a small correction here on my commands to make a correction here you enter so you'll be asked to save the file with the default name proceed and say yes you need to put in a passphrase make sure you put in a complex one all right so this one has been generated successfully and if we list we can run the command to list the so you can see we have new keys that have been generated there so the next step for us is to add our generated ssh key to the ssh agent so that it can manage our keys we now need to add our generated ssh key to the ssh agent so that it can manage our keys so to do to do that we need to start the ssh agent in the background by running the command so i'll do I typed it wrongly so you'll get a PID if it is started correctly also kindly note that you might have to run a different command if you are using a different environment so that will uh, the command that you run depends entirely on the environment that you're using if you are in a Mac OS uh, Sierra version 10.12.2 or later you need to modify your SSH con config. So first I'll check if I have an existing SSH config. So for me it doesn't exist. As you can see, I'm getting an error that the file does not exist. So I'll need to create one if it does not exist. So I'll just do such. I'll create one. You you need to create one, and then you can edit it. To edit the file, so I'll add. You can add the below this content inside the file. So this is what you add in the file. So this refers to the name of your key. So if you had changed the name of your key, don't forget to put the correct one here. So since I used the default names, I'm not going to change it. file and close it so you can see if the changes have been saved these ones have been changed so finally we need to add our SSH private key to the SSH agent and store the passphrase as well in the keychain. So for this, we'll run the ssh add command. SSH add command. Once 
once that is done press enter you need to input the press phrase that you had put earlier so these have been added successfully so the next thing we are going to do is to copy the pass phrase uh, sorry to copy the public the next thing that we're going to do is to copy the public key so that we can go and add it in our github account so to copy it i'll just need to do to use the pb command on mac So this is what we copy so what i'm copying i'm copying it to the clipboard so that i can paste it on my github account so this one has been copied successfully so once that is done you need to go to your github account once you log into your github account go to settings and then under settings go to ssh and gpg keys then i'll just go and click on new ssh key so give it any title so i'll call it uh, training training pc and then remember we had copied our public key so that's what i'll paste in there and this is what we have click on add and submit so it will ask you for your password and put your password and confirm so once that is done you have your key set up here so next what we are going to do is to try and commit our code try and push it to the remote repository so first i'll open a new terminal here then I'll do git push so remember initially we were getting an error so this should be resolved now once we've done our so you see we are still getting the same error so uh, one last step that we need to do is to update the remote URLs so how you can confirm that because you can see that it is still asking us for a username and password so run the command git remote so we need to update these urls we are now going to test our ssh connection to confirm that it's working so on the terminal type the command So if it is the first time that you are connecting to GitHub via SSH, the SSH client will ask you if it can trust the public key of the GitHub server. So just type in a yes so that it can be trusted. Yes, and you get a successful message that you've been successfully authenticated. So next finally we want to configure our existing repositories so that we, we are able to push the changes so we want to configure the repository so that they can use ssh authentication instead of the username and password so on the terminal uh, our current directory is, po is pointing to my local repository so first we can check the urls by using the command so as you can see we are still using the https urls which will require username password authentication so we need to change the repositories with the following to update it so the url has to be in this format
once you've typed in the URL you can press enter and then you can confirm if the changes have been applied so you can see that the URL has changed so we can now try and push our changes you can see that we are now able to push the changes successfully to our git repository thank you very much hope the video has been able to guide you don't forget to subscribe